my head was slammed into a bathroom door and then again next to the toilet and you know the assault proceeded. I remember like putting my hands on the sink and just like looking at myself in the mirror and not even being able to fully comprehend what had just happened. These women say they were raped at a place most of us assume will be a haven of learning and of safety, college. Annie was a freshman and Andrea a sophomore, each attending UNC, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Is the school blind to sexual violence? The interesting thing with universities as a whole with sexual violence is again, they treat it as a compliance issue. They treat it as something that could be solved with a policy. One in 20 college women in the United States will be the victim of a completed or attempted rape in a typical college year, according to the National Violence Against Women survey in 2000, the most recent figure available. So this is the easy thing to do. It's easy to put a blue light on campus. It's easy to have a campus security guard, and that has this facade of safety. Since 1972, the U.S. Department of Education, under Title IX of the Civil Rights Act, has said institutions receiving federal funds must ensure an education free of sexual discrimination. Many colleges and universities say they were unaware of their legal obligations under Title IX to also protect students from sexual assault. We absolutely put much more emphasis on preventing plagiarism than preventing rape. That, that, that was reality. Though Annie had graduated, in 2012, she and Andrea found each other through the UNC community. They began to talk about the issue of rape at the University of North Carolina. We said UNC isn't a bad place. UNC is a representation of a larger cultural problem. The women began researching Title IX, interviewing other victims of rape, utilizing social media. And in January of 2013, along with former UNC Administrator Melinda Manning and two others, they filed a federal complaint against the University of North Carolina at the Department of Education. So when you have 18 and 19 year old men and women who are holding the government accountable for rape, like it just, it boggles my mind. As for Annie and Andrea, they have turned their ordeals into a mission, a mission to bring light into a part of campus life that has been too long in shadow. Joey Chen, Al Jazeera, Chapel Hill.